Hello, this is Pat Cahill from Pat Cahill Metalworks, and today we're going to make something a little bit silly, but kind of fun, and uh, it would make a great little, like, Christmas gift for somebody. Um, we're going to start out with some 10 gauge wire, just round wire, and I'm going to cut off three inches of it. So I'll just measure three inches. This does not, nothing in this whole program or video is going to need to be exact. So, approximately three inches. Cut that off. Flatten out the edges with our miter jig. file them down. Perfect. And the other side. Now you have seen the picture, but I haven't really told you what I am making here. Maybe you can guess from the uh, the photo of the of the video. What do they call that? Oh, I don't know. Name escapes you right now. Okay, so both sides are nice and flat, and then we'll just be making a ring out of it. So my pliers. So you want to form your kind of D shape. All right. And this, as always, you know, you fiddle a bit because you want it to be butt it right up against one another, like that. And then I'll solder those two together. I'll solder these two ends together. Let's get that ready. So, now we're going to solder the joint that we made. And uh, I put a little a nice chip of hard solder right below the joint. And we're adding some um, liquid flux to it. And then we're Blow the solder. We'll get the whole piece nice and hot. And then, yep, there you go. Did you see that? There's our solder joint. Nicely. Looks like it's nice, yes. And we'll put that into the quench and then we'll put it into the, um, the pickle. And so I'm going to have to cut here and allow it to pickle, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so that's been pickled, and now we want to uh, round it out. So we'll put it on our ring mandrel. So here we have our our ring, nice and circular, and ready for the next step. Now there's a lot of ways you can do this next step. What I'm trying to do is just put little indentations all the way around on both sides. And you can use a tool like this, which is just a nail. And this is actually a great little tip. You can take get these large nails and... Um, you can put almost any type of surface on the end, and this one is just just a um, just a wedge type surface where you can put little indentations in your your jewelry, whatever you're doing at that time. Um, also, another nice thing to have is that you flatten out 
the top of the hammer so that it is parallel with this so you know exactly how that's going to make a groove. Now that's one way you can do what we're going to do, but another way is take your snips and with these snips there's a little device here that you screw down so that it only goes that far. It won't go through the metal. If you can see that. So it'll stop right there. And that's what we want. So what we're going to do is just go around this whole this whole ring and right to the end. Well, I can do it as careful as I want or as sloppy as I want. So in this case I'm trying to be a little a little more careful than I need to be. But so we have those and then we just do these sides and we start filling in. And so I don't need to worry about how much pressure I put on the snips because it's not going to go beyond where this screw allows it to. So I can I don't have to worry about cutting through the metal. So I'm going to do that. Go all the way around. Putting these little marks in there. And then I'll come back. Okay. Okay. Well, that's been done. And then we'll just hammer it a bit. To keep it nice and flat. And uniform. Now the next step is to uh, solder on, and I'm going to solder on a piece of uh, square wire onto, onto the piece there. So what I will do is I'll first cut off the right size that I want. And that should be plenty. And then I'll want to if I can find my miter jig, which is right here, I'll want to make it nice and flat. Actually on both sides. But as I said in the beginning, there's no real, we're not being exacting at all. There's no need to be. Okay, so this is going to go and solder to here, and what I can do is take a piece, where's my ring mandrel that's, well I'll just do this by hand. All I'm going to do is flatten a piece, and I would rather a smaller exacting file. Flatten a piece so that I have a good surface to solder the two pieces together. Let's see how that looks. That looks good. That looks real good. Okay, so let's get set up for soldering. I don't think I even need to take it off camera. Well, I probably will because I don't have any solder. I don't have the right flux to use here. So, all right, let me get those things and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so let's, uh, let's put some flux on the surfaces we want to bond. Snug them up. Okay, and then um, I need a pair of tweezers. Which I... Did 
take a piece of solder, put a solder chip right on there, and we're good to go. Heat up both pieces uniformly. You guys know what I'm making yet? I told you it's silly. I hope it works out. <laughs> There it starts to flow. And since that's a, such a big spot, I might just turn it over, add another piece of solder to that joint, and solder that side too. Now the solder should be drawn up from the bottom, so that will also help. That looks good. Okay, so we're gonna put that in the pickle and I will get back to you. Okay, so here we are. It's uh, completed. It's, what is it? Oh, you probably know by now. It's a bubble wand. So I made some bubble solution. It's just soap and water and I put a little bit of honey in it because I looked on the uh, web they're asking for glycerol, or um, which I don't have, uh, or gelatin, or um, corn syrup. None of those things I had in the house, but I did have some um, honey. So Oops. let's see how it works. So there you have it, a silly little sterling silver bubble wand for the person who has pretty much everything except for a sterling silver bubble wand. And you can make these in different ways too. Or you can make them as, as ornate or as, um, you know, you can add all sorts of stuff. Here's another one I made. This one was a little bit easier to make because I just used beaded wire for the top and a round stock on the bottom. So you can do all sorts of different things. You can actually make it so that you can put a little hole here and make it into a pendant. Somebody can wear it as a pendant and then, you know, take out their bubble solution and go to town. Are you seeing that? I don't know. I can't tell. Try to get a... <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you again sometime.